I am speaking to What is the date that marks the beginning of the World War II? At 10 Downing Street. For this like morning, what country? the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government I have no a final idea. note. Um, started in 1938. Uh, 1939. By 11 Gosh, sometime in September. They were prepared yeah. at once to withdraw their troops from Poland. A state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. How did Adolf Hitler come to power? He infiltrated in through um, certain organizations. That started World War I, I think. He started taking control of different groups and people started to support him. Passionate when he gave his speeches and it made people like him. What were some methods the Nazi regime used to assert cultural assimilation? Fear. I don't know that one. Yeah, well, I don't know. Really massive genocide. Can you name any cultural artifacts lost or stolen during World War II? Not really. Paintings. A bunch of paintings. Are you familiar with Van Gogh's Painter on the Road to Tarascon? I'm not. I'm not. No. no. Der sechste Parteitag der Bewegung geht zu Ende. Was für Millionen Deutsche, die außerhalb unserer Reihen stehen, vielleicht nur als imposantestes Schauspiel politischer Machtentfaltung gewertet wird, war für die Hunderttausende der Kämpfer unendlich mehr. August 1888, Vincent van Gogh sent a mail from Arles, France to his brother. In it, sketches of his next works piled high, accompanied by a description of his drawings. Among the scratchings was one of van Gogh's most famous works, The Painter on the Road to Tarascon. The enclosed drawings were given to Theo, his brother, in order to give an idea of the very fine subjects that were in France. The Painter on the Road to Tarascon became an archetypal image, not only of van Gogh, but of the artist. Negative social stigma and seclusion throughout Van Gogh's life served as more of an emotional deterrent than a practical one. He was driven not to end his artistic career and walk another path, but rather to become deeply, internally affected. Such was reflected in his work. The warped and unsettling solitude he constructs in The Painter on the Road to Tarascon speaks volumes. Van Gogh epitomizes what movements such as Cubism and Impressionism sought to achieve and what Hitler himself despised. The ability to paint lies, images removed from reality, and in doing so, to reveal facts of existence which may be found nowhere else. The new movement of expressive unconventional art was seen by the Nazi regime as degenerate, inappropriate, and untraditional. The political group aimed to achieve the ideal core values of extreme nationalism and to exercise complete corrective dominance and assimilation. This meant cultural cleansing. Civilians were condemned by the color of their eyes, hair, and skin, the shape of the icons of their faith, and the country that the pan-Germanic totalitarian party believed they belonged in. The Treaty of Versailles ended World War I in 1919. Fifteen years later, Germany was facing the pressures of extreme, crippling economical responsibility. The conditions existed after the country's humiliating defeat for a new leader to take power among the turmoil and depression. Adolf Hitler, a seemingly auspicious and charismatic speaker, appealed to the unemployed and lower class, the young, and those seeking power. He rose the ranks of the Nazi party, eventually being elected Chancellor, January of 1933. The Nazi regime used cultural manipulation to create a biased and illogical distaste for that which they saw as removed from Aryan cultural cleanliness and superiority. Multiple exhibits tainted the perspectives of onlookers as Jewish degenerate art was hung improperly and in chaotic environments. Newspapers were forbidden from being sympathetic to or identifying with those targeted by the party. Furthermore, criticism of the Nazi conglomeration was banned. The men donning swastikas wished to bend the minds of an entire people 
And for a brief dark moment in history, they did. <laughs>